Within 10 years time, 10 years, most electric vehicles will not be charged by a power point. They won't need a charging cable and the world will be a completely different place. Here's why. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to all the subscribers to the channel. And welcome to you new ones. It's great to see you. Prediction. I have ordered an electric car from a company, a US company called Aptera, who has just received a massive round of funding. And when I ordered this car, I thought, you know what? Pretty unlike I'm ever going to get it. I was pretty skeptical and I'll put a link in the description below to the whole order process. The model that I ordered is actually got a, apparently it's going to have a thousand miles of range, 1000 miles of range for only, it was about 40 something thousand US dollars. You know, if I do get it, if they will deliver it here to Australia, I will go through with that order because this vehicle, my friends, is the kind of vehicle that is going to change the world. And I don't say that lightly. In fact, I believe that Within around 10 years, the majority of electric cars will be self-charged, not by some kind of magic voodoo. I've been getting messages about these self-charging cars and it just sounds like Toyota's kind of marketing baloney, which is just a joke. Toyota's self-charging cars, which apparently they're on the roads today, they, they don't need to be charged, they just self-charge themselves. Though they do use petrol, by the way, or gasoline to fuel them, but you know they're still self-charged. No, I'm being serious here. I'm referring to electric cars with solar panels on them. Now, there's two vehicles right now. The one I ordered and another one, which say you can do around 40 miles per day simply by parking them in the sun. They'll give you 40 miles of range per day. Now, the reality is, right, the average commute is way less than 40 miles per day in the West. If you combine the US, Australia, Europe, New Zealand, UK, if I've missed you, whatever, who cares? You know what I mean? You get my point, right? Mind everyone, put us all together. The average commute from my numbers is, well, it's only about 25 kilometers a day. That's a lot less than 40 miles. What does that mean? Well, right now, if, if we can get 40 miles of range per day from these vehicles, which they're claiming we can get now, let's just say they're exaggerating and call it 30 miles per day. Remember, solar panel efficiency is continuing to improve. But what is improving at a much quicker rate is the efficiency of batteries. So the reality is, give these technologies 10 years time, what are we looking at? I think we're looking at being able to charge one of these batteries a minimum of 50 miles per day. As battery technology becomes more efficient, as solar technology becomes more efficient, as the entire package becomes more efficient, 50 miles per day seems reasonable, but let's just say, well, what about if that doesn't happen? Let's just say it's only 30 miles a day. That's still 50 kilometers a day. The average person, that's all they need. That's all the average person needs, right? Maybe you do one long trip on the weekends, but the average person doesn't. Let's say you do. What does that mean? You got to charge once per week? That's crazy, right? Why on earth would you want to have to have a home storage battery if you don't need one? Why would you want to have all the other things, you know, the charging cables and everything else if you don't need it? If you can simply run your car on the sun, why wouldn't you? And if you can wait to get a car like this at an affordable price, only a matter of years, why wouldn't you? Well, imagine where we'll be in 2050, in 20 years, 29 years from now. Imagine how much that technology will have improved. Just have a look at how, what our technology was like 29 years ago. We have come an incredible way as a species in 29 years. What cars were we driving 29 years ago? Honestly, when we look at those cars now, right? When you see a car that's 30 years old, what do you think? You think, look at that old piece of junk. Look at that old thing. Wow. Wow, look at this car I'm driving now. Look at this infotainment system. This is amazing. We've come a long way. Smartphones, right? Did we have a smartphone 30 years ago? No, we didn't. Imagine if you saw a smartphone 30 years ago. You'd go, what the hell is that? That thing's amazing. That is blowing my mind. The same thing's going to happen with cars. 30 years time from now, these electric cars we drive today will be powered entirely by the sun. Energy will essentially be free. 
transportation will essentially be free. And these cars will, of course, be autonomously driving. There's, if you actually think that we won't have full autonomy within 30 years' time from now, you have to be a mental case. Clearly, we will, right? Clearly, we will. We'll have cars driven purely by the sun with a computer to drive them for us. Imagine what we can do. Imagine all the things your kids will be able to do. Imagine what, you know, you can just go to sleep in your car, wake up wherever, do anything you want to do because travel will become essentially free. Now, getting to the first car that I believe is going to launch this new world, the Lightyear 1, well, it's actually dead. But the Lightyear 0, on the other hand, that's very much alive. This Dutch electric vehicle startup has unveiled the production version of its solar car, which has been named the Lightyear Zero. Described as the world's first production-ready solar car, the Lightyear Zero is an evolution of the Lightyear One, both in terms of design and performance. Now imagine 20, 29 more evolutions, right? 29 years, 29 years or more of evolutions of this product. Imagine how freaking amazing these things are going to be. It's so exciting. I just like, I'm just like a bundle of excitement here. Seriously, the future for our kids is going to be unbelievably great. Styling-wise, I think it's pretty freaking rad. I love this car. The changes, though, it's been changed a little bit. Redesigned bumpers, new headlights, new taillights, an illuminated badge, bar connecting the headlights, new door handles, side cameras move from the stores to the front fenders in a low position, new aero wheels to stuff that who cares about, new aero cover for the rear wheels is a no-cost option. The vehicle's outer body panels, though, are made from reclaimed carbon, namely residual carbon fiber materials that would otherwise be thrown out. That's pretty cool. What else do we know about it? Well, the range, the WLTP range is 625 kilometers or 388 miles. And the five square meters of double curved solar panels will provide an additional 70 kilometers or 44 miles of range per day in ideal conditions. I mean, in Australia, Africa, Southeast Asia, uh, you know, southern parts of North America, Latin America, South America, Central America, these cars would be unbelievable. So what would that give you? 44 miles of range per day, 70 kilometers per day. That's 11,000 free kilometers of driving per year, 6,835 miles. What about if it's cloudy? Well, in cloudy climates, yeah, solar panels still work, by the way. A lot of people think they don't. I don't know why a lot of people, I mean, I've had arguments with people. I'm like, guys, solar panels, they still do work when it's cloudy. Even some panels apparently will work at nighttime. I don't know how that works. But anyway, this EV startup, claims the car's solar panels will produce enough electricity to do 35 kilometers or 22 miles a day, even when it's cloudy. Apparently that is thanks in part to record breaking a coefficient of drag around 0.19. The light year's energy use is 10.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers or 169 watts per mile. Imagine what its energy use will be in 29 years time. Just imagine, probably half that, yeah, crazy. So what about charging? Well, Lightyear say this vehicle would require no charging for up to two months based on an average commute of around 35 kilometers or 22 miles per day or up to seven months in sunny countries. When charging is necessary, the Lightyear Zero can charge its 60 kilowatt hour battery pack at rates of up to 520 kilometers per hour, 200 kilometers per hour on public charges or 32 kilometers per hour on your home charger. Solar panels recharge the battery at a maximum rate of around 10 kilometers an hour. Now, this car, it's prohibitively expensive. The first deliveries are expected in November in Europe. Prices start at 250,000 euros. That's 265,000 US dollars. But the company promises to launch a 30,000 euro light year two smaller vehicle in 2025. That's what happens with this kind of technologies. They trickle down. Fortunately, though, we have the Aptera version, right? Check out my video on that to see that you can get a product that's, you know, not quite as good as this, but it's pretty damn good for a fraction of the price, 40,000 US dollars for a thousand miles of range. Now, this is actually an extremely light car for its size. It's only 1,575 kilos, and that's even with its solar panel exterior. So what's the power of this car? Well, apparently it has 174 horsepower and 1,270 pound feet of torque i don't know if that's true or not but that's what i've been told top speed is limited to 100 miles an hour 
Now, if you want to reserve the Aptera vehicle, which has, like I said, apparently a thousand miles of range, you can do it for only a hundred US dollars. I'll put a link in the description below to my video where you can see how I went through and reserved it. Aptera say they now have 22,000 reservations for their electric vehicle. And prices actually start at 26,000 US dollars. There's four battery options available for that car, illustrated by range, not size. Range of the base model is 250 miles. The next spec, 400 miles, then 600 miles, then 1,000 miles. And you can do zero to 60 miles an hour in only 3.5 seconds. That's supercar fast. So this, my friends, is clearly the future of electric cars. Solar panels, efficiency will continue to get better. Battery efficiency will continue to get better. Charging efficiency will continue to get better. One day, not all that long from now, there's going to be electric cars driving around the world everywhere, powered simply by one thing, the sun. Nothing else, just the sun. You know what? It's exciting to see this happening. It's an exciting time to be alive. And I hope you're as excited as I am. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.